Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I've got a really exciting video planned for today as so many of you guys really loved my last Zara haul. So I thought I'd bring you another one today as I've sort of been shopping a little bit more um, for trans seasonal pieces coming out of winter and into spring. But I can't fully let go of autumn winter clothes altogether because I feel like we haven't really gotten a full autumn winter because we've been locked up inside all year. Does anyone else feel like that? I feel like we sort of got scammed a little bit. We've got, I've got all these gorgeous blazers and coats and jeans and stuff that I haven't really got to wear. So I'm hoping to sort of still wear them coming into spring. But I've also picked up some other great pieces that I think will really last all spring and summer, but even go into next year. Something that you can sort of wear all year round. I'm really loving those pieces at the moment. To sort of take you from each season and you just get a lot more wear out of them. So hope you guys really enjoy this video and I will pop all of the links down below for you to shop anything if there's hopefully there's still a line at Zara. I've just got them all over the last few weeks so hopefully they'll all be there. And I will also include the descriptions and the prices and everything on screen for you so that you can sort of check it out as I show each piece. Um, yeah, and I'll also let you know this um, beautiful blouse that I'm wearing today isn't from Zara. This one's actually from Pretty Lavish. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous UK brand. This was really kindly gifted to me. So we'll jump right into today's video. And the first piece that I'm going to show you is this cute little piece. So it's this little crop. And you've probably seen these all over Instagram and all over sort of Pinterest and stuff like that. I wasn't sort of sure how I felt about this. Well, I don't know if it's a trend, but yeah, I just wasn't sort of sure how I feel about these sort of pieces, but I wanted to get one and try it for myself and see if it will work with my style. So I think that's really important to remember is you can take a trend and you can sort of transfer to how your style, to match your style, sorry. So basically, I've seen so many of these little crops being worn as a crop and with little shorts and little um, knitted shorts and stuff like that. Totally not my vibe as I don't really love to perhaps show a lot, but there's so many ways that you can wear these and I'll show you a few ways in the cutaways and I'll show you how I choose to style it but just a few really quick ways is looks really cute with high-waisted shorts I really love it with high-waisted shorts or even some high-waisted trousers with a blazer over the top really really cute for like a, a lunch date or even going out with some heels and stuff like that if you had like a big blazer over the top I love it with high-waisted stuff that's because it doesn't show as much of your stomach and your mid area but it also looks really flattering with high-waisted stuff so this one is just like it's sort of like a silky, not silky, but it's definitely not like a cotton. It's like a stretchy lycra sort of fabric. It's a little black one and it's got like this little, I don't know if you can see it there, the top. It's sort of like, um, sort of like what you would have on your bras and stuff like that. That little uh, detail across the top and the bottom. Really stretchy. It's got adjustable straps and yeah, nothing super special about this, but it's just like a little crop this one was $29.95 so super affordable and I'm loving wearing these yeah just under blazers and big stuff like that I don't know if I would wear it just by itself but yeah some people love to wear it like that I've also seen it really worn really cool over the top of like a white crisp shirt so like a business shirt or even a linen sort of style but a crisp white shirt would work best I've seen it styled like that and I'm definitely wanting to try that to sort of see if it will suit my vibe but yeah so that's the first piece up the next two you would have seen these everywhere, muscle shirts, sort of like with the big shoulder pads. I'm absolutely loving them and I'm so glad they're back in style because they're very me and I think they come in a range of different colours and stuff like that. I've gone for black and white, as you could have picked it, um, to keep it really basic, but I think it's the same sort of styling as a black and white t-shirt. You can't go wrong and yeah, I just think they're so, so versatile and you can wear them all year round, but I also think they're really, really flattering. If you're like me, I'm not super confident about my arms just being out all the time in sort of like a tank or a singlet. So these are a great option because the shoulder pad sort of makes your shoulders look really structured and it doesn't show off your arms. So You'll see in the cutaways, but so I'll just show you the white one. And I think these are a really great quality style from Zara. I do, th I'll, I'll double check the price on this one. $29.95, so that's really affordable. And I've seen them a few different places, but I really do love these Zara ones because the quality is amazing. So also I will let you know, I went for a size medium in these. I do think you could easily go for your normal size, but I just wanted to size up to get that sort of baggy, oversized, really casual vibe. So it's got shoulder pads at the side there. 
and I'll show you the split down the side. It is quite longish, I guess, but you definitely can't sort of see your bra or anything like that. So the shoulder pads come out a little bit past your shoulders. You'll see it in the cutaways, but I just think they're so flattering and you can wear them so many ways. I'm picturing you can wear them through sort of autumn and winter and stuff like that with just like leather trousers or jeans with a big blazer or a coat over the top. But also in spring, summer, I can't wait to wear them with just maybe denim shorts or a skirt, some leather shorts and even midi skirts and stuff. You can still throw a blazer over the top, but yeah, just really versatile. And as I mentioned, super, super flattering. So I've got the white one and the black one here, which I also got in the medium. So the same size, same style with, um, it's hard to see in the black, but this sort of the cut underarm cut. I've also seen some great ones from Mango. Also Witchery I've seen do a really, really good one as well. So hopefully these are still in stock, but if they're not, I'll try and link some other options as I think you can't go wrong. I'm also wanting to get one perhaps in like a nude sort of beige color, because I think that will just complete my whole wardrobe and I think I'll get a lot more wear out of it as well. So next up's a really gorgeous piece that sort of saw it online and I saw a few people wearing it on Instagram and I didn't sort of know if I really loved it but I wanted to get it to see how I feel about it and try it on and it's really really gorgeous the quality is so nice it's super soft so I don't know if you can see but you've probably definitely seen it it's like this knitted play suit so it's got these shorts it's all joined and it's got long sleeves and buttons down the front so it's absolutely gorgeous I did get it in a size small and a medium to try it on because I wasn't sort of sure I was I thought I'd be a small in sort of the body, but sometimes you never know about the knitted bottoms. But I will say I'm probably going to stick with the small only because I actually didn't find the bottom half to be that much different in the medium. I felt like the bottom was quite the same, except the medium was really baggy and big on the top. So I think I'm going to stick with the small purely because I don't want it to be too oversized. Sometimes it can look too baggy. But yeah, super gorgeous, and I think it's a perfect one for that in-between weather. So definitely here where I am in Australia, in Victoria, it definitely gets colder, probably cold more than it does hot. So I'm really looking forward to sort of styling this up. I think I'll wear it quite casually. I'm picturing it with sort of trainers or even my Gucci loafers. I think that'll look really classy with a nice little handbag. And you can wear this open. You could wear a little top underneath if you wanted to, but... I'll see how I go. I'm thinking I'll just sort of wear it similar to how I'm wearing this blouse. And yeah, I've seen so many gorgeous girls on Instagram style it up and it just looks so nice and casual. But yeah, super soft. So if you're wanting to try that one, def I definitely recommend trying it out. And yeah, depending on what size you want, I would say go for your normal size. But because it, it is that piece that I thought you could wear it um, oversized and baggy. But on second thoughts and after trying it on, I don't think... I really want it to be too baggy, if you know what I mean. So next up's another style that have sort of come back into fashion. I don't know if they ever sort of left, but this season they're definitely huge. That is some leather shorts. These are sort of like a paper bag style, a little bit high-waisted, which I which I absolutely love. You all know that I love anything high-waisted because it really accentuates the waist and it covers up the widest part of my body, which is my hips, so it's really flattering. I did go up a size in these to a medium, which upon trying them on, they are a little bit big and baggy and I easily could go down to a small, but I really wanted that oversized vibe. So up to you if you want to go your normal size, you definitely could. So I'll show you, hopefully you can see them. I know that it's a bit hard to see the black, but so they've got this really soft leathery feel and they've got a sort of rolled up hem at the bottom, which is really flattering and see how they sort of go out from your waist like that. Again, that's really flattering to cover your hips and that part of your body. Also, as I mentioned, they're high waisted, super elastic, stretchy, and they've got pockets at the front. I don't know if you can see, but they've also got pockets at the back and they're really, really flattering, really comfy. So I had a pair of leather shorts probably about, I don't know, maybe even like 10 years ago now. I don't know if anyone remembers, but they were sort of those like, they looked like running shorts, that style where at the sides they came. So instead of going out like this, they came up like that at the sides. These days, I think that is so unflattering. I don't know why I ever wore something like that, but I'm really glad that they are back, but in a nicer style, which is more flattering and way easier to wear. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing these all summer and spring. I'm picturing just really easy to wear with 
um, muscle tops like this or a singlet or a tank top, blazer over the top, um, some slides or some sneakers, really perfect for just casual wear. You definitely could style these up with a pair of heels and maybe a bodysuit underneath if you were going out and you wanted to go for that sort of more dressed up look, easily could do that as well. They're really, really versatile and I think leather is definitely sticking around season after season but it just sort of comes back as everything does I guess in a different way but I'm really loving this style so I'll leave all the links for that down below as well next up I'm really excited I don't know why I just really love this piece and I saw it on the model and as we all know sometimes on Zara it's really hard to tell if you're gonna like it in person but I ordered it anyway and really love it it's a really basic piece but I just think it's so flattering and the color is really gorgeous I'm not gonna be able to fit it all in the shop but it's this ribbed dress show you the rib it's so gorgeous it's sort of a gray i would say it's gray but it's also like nearly a teal set oh not teal like a sage color it's more like a bluey gray but it's really stunning it's not a color that i would normally go for i guess normally i would just sort of go for like black white beige <laughs> as we all know but this is a really stunning color so i wanted to try it on it's a high neck it goes all the way it's really long it's definitely like midi Oh, nearly maxi length on me because I'm short but yeah and the um, under the arms aren't too long either so you, I'll show you in the cutaways but it's really easy to wear and um, it's just really flattering under here as well because it doesn't show you that you know that side part there I don't even know what that's called everyone will know what I mean um, next to your bra and your underarm it sort of hides that and it looks really flattering so I'm picturing this with like some oversized blazers and some loafers or some slides. Yeah, but again, easily you could dress this up because it is really flattering. You could definitely wear it with heels, like an overcoat or just heels in summer. Sneakers for a real casual vibe. So yeah, I'm loving these sort of pieces and I think this is what I'm starting to want to invest in more is those pieces that you can wear so many different ways because then you've got so many more options. I'm definitely liking that more. So yeah, hopefully this one's still in stock as well. And if not, I've seen a few other great ones. I saw one from Pretty Lavish have a nice style like this as well. So if this one isn't in stock, I'll try and link some other ones for you as well. So now we're moving on to the last two pieces of today's haul and we're moving on to some denim. And you may have already seen these ones if you do follow me over on Instagram. If you don't, make sure you go and follow. But I did sort of show these off a few weeks ago, but I thought I will include them in this haul because they're still online and I still think they're really relevant for the coming months ahead. Whether you're watching from whether I don't know where you're watching from but if we're about to go into spring here in Australia or if you're overseas might be going into autumn so I think that they're pieces that you definitely will wear all year round I know here where I am in Australia we definitely wear jeans most of the year so I think it's really still important to invest in good quality jeans or a good fit if you find them so the first pair I couldn't recommend these highly enough seriously I find it really really hard to buy jeans that fit and I mentioned this over on Instagram I'm quite short I'm not too short but I'm not definitely not the tallest and I think I struggle the most because I have a small waist but I do have hips so sometimes you have to go up a size to get them to sort of fit and nicely around your legs and your thigh area but then I get that whole I forget what it's called is it called it's like saddleback or something like that where it's really baggy at the back of your jeans and I absolutely hate that I feel like it's just so uncomfortable and when you go to sit down it really bulges out the back so these pair, I swear, is really flattering, really comfy. Also, the denim is quite sort of, the denim's not stretchy, but it does have an elastic waist. So I don't know, again, it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's black, but can you see the elastic here? It's got a really comfy zip and button area, but they're sort of that paper bag style jeans. So they are a bit baggy at the top, but then they come in at the bottom and they're quite tapered. They're also a bit, also a bit cropped. So if you're quite tall or you're much taller than I am, they might look super cropped on you. Depends what you like. So they're still a little bit cropped on me, but seriously, they're really, really comfy. And I even struggle just with my stomach. Sometimes, you know, if you're bloated or yeah, you just don't want them to be super tight around your stomach. So I find that these are really good because they're um, elastic. So I'll leave these ones down below. They also do come in a really nice blue denim. I haven't got those ones, but again, if you wanted this sort of style, but in the blue, that would also be a really good option. Last up, we've got one more pair of denim. And I think blue denim is also something that I think is so classic. 
I just always find myself coming back to looking at jeans. Every time I see a style of jeans, I'm always looking and I do find it really hard to find a pair that I do like. So I love to try on jeans whenever I go shopping and stuff like that. And Zara jeans actually are a favorite of mine because I feel like the quality is really great for the price and the fits are really good. And I feel like they have a wide range of fits. So definitely when I can go in store, I'm not at the moment we can't, but usually I love to go in and I'll take about you know, five pairs into the change rooms and try on lots of different styles. But I've sort of ordered these ones online at the same time I got these black jeans and I thought, mm, I really don't know if these are going to fit, but I'll try them anyway. So they're sort of like a classic mum jean. They've got a frayed edge at the bottom, which I think is really, really sort of edgy and cool. I really just loved the wash of these. I feel like they're just that really classic blue that you can sort of wear all year round and every year then sort of not going to go out of style. They also don't have any rips or anything. I was wanting a sort of a mum jean without rips or anything that can still be really classy. Wear it with like a, a t-shirt and a blazer or you can easily wear like a nice shirt, something like this or a white shirt or something with heels. So this is a really great pair. They don't have any rips or anything like that really classic pocket at the back and this like little white leather patch which I think is really cool so with the sizing also I will mention with this sizing sorry I've just realized I forgot to say the sizing for everything I can go over the sizing um, just as I know a lot of people might um, be the similar size to me and they want to know what sort of sizing I'd recommend so with this size I got an 8 and I feel like they were the perfect size. If I went up a size, they would be too baggy, I think. Um, and I've still got room when I sort of pull them at the waist. So the eight for that was really good. But I did go up a size in these. So I got the size 38, which I think is a size 10 Australian. So with the sizing with these, I'll show you in the cutaways, but this is a much more rigid denim than the black was. And so it's quite tight around the front and around the thighs. But once you sort of wear it, it does get a bit comfier. They are super flattering. When I first tried them on, I thought, oh, they're definitely not for me. But once I sort of did them up and styled them up nicely, which sometimes I think I think you just have to style them and then you'll see how they really look. Around the waist, they didn't have a too big of a gape at the back, so that was really good. And the length, the length was really flattering on me. I feel like the cut-off ankle was also really flattering. Sometimes I feel that can make you look shorter and not as um doesn't elongate your legs but this actually looked quite flattering and again i just wanted these to be a super casual pair so they didn't need to be super skinny or super tight they just need to be sort of real casual and still look a bit comfy and that kind of vibe so i'll show you these in the cutaways as well but i did style these up over on instagram so you can go and check them out there as well if you want to sort of see how the fit is as well actually i think the only piece i forgot to say the sizing was was this dress and size small in this one which I think was the perfect size I definitely wouldn't want to go up because I think with that style of dress you don't want it to be too baggy it's not that sort of style so yeah size small in that one but I will include all the links down below for sizing and prices and everything like that everything that I recommend so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video it was just sort of a quick overview of some pieces from Zara that I've been loving lately and I hope you guys really enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below if you're loving any of these pieces or what else you're loving from Zara as I'm definitely in Zara addict it's probably my favorite online shop to shop at or not just online but in store I definitely love an in-store experience better but at the moment I'm dealing with online because that's all we can do so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and let me know what else you'd like to see from me in the comments please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm really trying to bring out lots more content and I know I've been sort of slacking a little bit lately but I'm definitely trying to get the ball rolling again and I think coming into a new season it always is more inspiring with new pieces and new ways to style things for the warmer weather definitely excited about that so make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one